giggling It do not make sense to me How you so gangster but only pop through a screen Hey guys, welcome back to my channel So my name is Jay Doll. So today we're going to be doing a demo plus review on this huge naked vault three so when you first get it this is it comes with a sleeve but i of course i took the sleeve off so this is just the front and the back is just plain okay when you first get it when you open it up it looks like this so it comes with four eyeshadows two flush palettes and two basics two lipsticks two glosses and two lip liners so first i'm gonna start off by doing swatches of everything that's on the inside and then I'm going to be doing a full face with what's in here. So I already have my eyebrows already done. I have my foundation and, you know, my contour and highlight, but with no powder because, of course, this palette comes with powders. And just um, Carmex on my lips and that's it. So let's get started. The first naked palette, and these are the colors. It comes with some mostly nude pinks and earth tone colors. And then, and then it has two dark shades right here and I took all of the brushes out because I like them and I used them already so yeah this is what it looks like cute packaging so here are the swatches for the first naked and as you can see the last couple of shades didn't have good color payoff so now we're going to be going on to the naked two and here's the packaging it's what the colors look like so now I'm going to swatch those for you for the swatches I am, in my opinion, very light, and as you can see, the lighter colors are kind of faint and doesn't really show up, but the shimmers show up very nicely, and on the lighter colors, I did do like three coats, and it's still not showing up, so I'm not really sure about that. Okay, so next, we're going to be going on to the Naked 3, and I think this one by far is my favorite because it has a lot of pinks and a lot of golden colors, so I'm going to be swatching this for you. Here are the swatches. And again, the lighter colors really don't show up on me. They're very opaque, and I don't know what that is about because, hunting, I am a light. So, I don't know. Maybe it's buildable. We'll see when I do my demo. But for right now, it's looking very light and patchy. But the shimmers show up perfectly fine. I only have to do like one to two coats and just look at that. So, lastly, we're going to be getting into the Naked Smoky. And this is the Naked 4. And this one has more deeper darker tones more blues more browns a few shimmers but this one's more matte swatches for the last one and again hunty this this these light colors is just not showing up on me and i'm not dark or anything i'm just not understanding why they're just so streaky and just not precise and i did three quotes so for the eyeshadow palette so far i would give it about a seven out of ten on first swatching it's very faint very faint and so that makes me think what about for my darker girls is it gonna show up or not and i don't i honestly don't think it's gonna show up a lot because one i'm very light and they didn't really show up that much on me and i did three coats so i don't know what it is maybe it's buildable we'll see when i do my demo but for right now with the swatches it's not looking too good. The thing I'm gonna show you is the Naked Flush Palette. And in this kit, you get two of them. The first one is Streak, and it's the lighter one. And then the second one is Flushed. So the Naked one, it appears to be darker. Here's the colors. You get a bronzer, a highlighter, shimmer, and a blush. You get the same thing, a blush, a, sh a shimmer highlighter, and a bronzer. And Hansi, these are very light. And look, look at the difference between the darker one and the lighter one. They're still very light. Everything in this whole kit is light. And I'm light, and I don't know what this is going to contour because it don't look too dark. This side, I'm going to be putting streak. And then on this side, I'm going to be putting naked. And naked is the darker one. So the darker one is going to go on this BH Cosmetic brush. And it's the 114 brush. So I'm just going to be taking this. And also, I'm just going to be contouring up here because when I do my normal contour, I contour my forehead. So, so far, it's looking good, but it's not really giving me um, a contour. Like, the contour that I normally get is more of a, a natural contour. We're going into the 
blush other bh cosmetic brush and it's the co it's the brush the 113 brush this pink shade normally i don't wear blush because i don't really like it but for the purposes of this video i'm gonna do it <laughs> oh okay so i do like the blush i do like it and i'm not even a blush person but it's it's looking pretty cute to me. Again, this shimmer highlighter. It's a little pink to me, but let's just see how this goes. Wet and Wow brush. It doesn't have a number or anything, but it just looks like this. Okay, so this highlighter is very pink, and it's not... It looks, like, really extremely light on me, and it's not looking really too cute. Yeah, this is more for a lighter complected women this is not gonna work for me because this is too light and this is actually the darker palette so hmm taking the lighter palette which i know is just gonna be an epic fail because we just did this one and it ain't cute at all it's real light but we're just gonna go with it for the purposes of this video cosmetics the one two three brush and i'm gonna be going in with this contour shade Experiencing the same thing with the other side. I'm actually surprisingly liking the contour, but it's kind of too light to actually contour. It's more of a natural contour. I don't know, you guys can comment down below and let me know what you think. This blush is a lot more pink, so I'm kind of worried about what it's gonna look like. Cause I kind of like the other one, so let's just see. Oh no. Yes, this blush is too much. This is, this is too bright for someone of color, if you can see. Yeah, this is this whole kit is really not for us, if you know what I mean. This is looking like it's for someone who is really extremely lighter, like kind of pale, because this is too much. This, I don't know where this brush is from, but this is a little cheap brush, and I'm going to be taking that shimmer color and use it as my highlight. So this highlighter I actually like because it's a more golden one. It's 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 really blinding. If you can see, it's really blinding. But it's a more golden one and it's not so pink like the other one. It is a little bit still light, but I actually like it. I'm blending it all together because that's that girl. This, this is too much. It's too much for me. So naked flush palettes. I would give them an eight or a nine. Um, for I would give them a nine because of the shade range again the light one and the dark one are still too light and I'm very light so I'm not understanding why they're so light to be a contour shade you know that's supposed to be kind of dark but the color payoff is amazing now although the colors don't match my skin tone the color payoff is very good so I would give these a nine or eight for the color payoff but also because the shade range isn't really a range because it's so light. Even the light one and the dark one are still light. On to the Naked Basics. And basically these are just mini eyeshadow palettes that are Naked Basics. The shades. And I'm not going to swatch these shades because these are some of the same shades that were a mix of all the palettes. So yeah, these are just earth tone shades and they look very, very pretty. So this is the first one. This is the Naked Basics 2. And then here's the Naked, Naked Basics one. This is a little, oh, I just messed it up. I just cut it with my nail. But this one's a little bit more lighter. It has a lot of earthy tones, but also a lot of light tones. And this one's also pretty as well. Two lip liners, two lipsticks. Okay, so one, the packaging is very, very cute. Like, just look at that. And you get two colors, and the colors you get for the lip liners are in Naked, and then the other one is brush and then the lipsticks you get naked and back talk which is kind of weird because they said naked and the lip the lipstick together and then they said two separate things for the lip liner and lipstick so i don't know what that's about the naked and then the naked lipstick of course naked I'm gonna be taking the naked lipstick and the lipstick packaging is so pretty actually a pretty nude color it's actually a little bit lighter than my lip color but yeah it's really nice 
would give this, this particular color and this particular liner, I would give it a 10 because I absolutely love the formula, the way it, it was on. It was so smooth and soft, soft, not streaky at all, and it was just really pretty. And it's just a nice color. Okay? taking the rush lip liner and the back top lipstick and so this color is a little bit darker let's see how it looks it's the same smooth silky formula I really love these lip liners they're so smooth and glide on easily so now I'm going to be taking this lipstick and back top This one, I love this one so much more. This is Back Talk um, Lipstick and then Rush Liner. These lipsticks are so perfect, so smooth, and so silky. I would give this one as well a 10. I'll be doing my eyes with the Urban Decay Naked 3. Okay, I'm going to be taking Nooner and it's just this color right here. And as I'm swiping, there's actually a lot of bit of fallout. So... So I'm just going to be using this in my crease and using it as my transition color. Okay, so now the colors are actually showing up. Like, I only did a little bit in there, and it's actually just popping, girl. Taking this color trick, and it's like this goldy color, and I'm going to be putting it under my brow bone. Just to make my brow bone pop a little bit. The colors are really showing out right now, like... At first, they were slack in, baby. I'm just going to be taking the same brush that I used the first color and just blend those two colors together. Pink color right here. I'm going to be taking that and I'm just going to be putting it onto my crease. I'm sorry, onto my lid. Oh, that's such a pretty color. Like, it's just popping. It's just this pretty, like, light, light plunge color. So yeah, I'm just going to be putting that on the outer corner to blend those two shimmery colors together. Taking Nooner and putting it under my lower eyelash line to smoke it out just a little bit. Just going to be taking that same shade that I put under my brow bone in Trick and putting it on my inner corner. eyeshadow palettes after the swatching I would give it now a nine. Those are something you have to like build on but they show up perfectly the color payoff is amazing and I actually like it okay as far as the lips and the lip liner you guys know I already love them very much it's very smooth silky it's the best formula ever and even now it's been dry for about 15 minutes and it's very smooth. The, the high, the flush palettes, the highlighter, their contour, and the blush, um, it's trash. <laughs> I'm sorry, like, it's not trash. It's just, first of all, the colors are kind of trash because one, I'm very light myself and it's a contour palette and those shades weren't even contouring me and I'm light. And honestly, I feel like it's just not cute. Like, the highlighter is cute, but you gotta, like, use a little bit of light of it because the color is so in your face. But the blush and the and the contour, it's not, it's not for me, and I don't like it. It's not dark enough, but the formula, as far as the make of it, is good. So, if you like this video, like and comment and share. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. And comment down below if you want to see any other videos, whatever you want to see. That's it for this video. And also, if you stay in Dallas, Texas, and you want your makeup done, you can text the number in the description box or you can email me and we can go from there. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I love you.